there's three types of rocket stove. There's the rocket cooker stove. Then there's two different kinds of rocket mass heater. There's the standard model, the J2 rocket stove that we've been working on for the last 20 years. And there's a new ver variation on that, which is known as the batch box rocket stove or the batch, batch rocket mass heater. The batch rocket mass heater. Um, and this is again another variation of the batch rocket mass heater. Um, when you have a rocket mass heater, there's two different ways now that we know of to distribute heat. One is the old way of distributing heat, which is a pipe in a bench or a pipe in some kind of a mass. Uh, the pipe has uh, laminar flow characteristics, which means that you have to have a really long flow, a really long run of pipe down and back again to use up all the heat. Right? And you have to buy pipe and things like that. The new variety is called a bell chamber um, or a stratification chamber. And so what this stove is, is it's a batch rocket mass heater with a, with a bell chamber for distributing heat. First of all, batch rockets tend to be built with high-tech materials. They're built with uh, mason, uh, like high-end masonry, uh, refractories, and um, things like that. And the heater core of this stove is made out of Neolithic materials. Um, there's no bot products inside the burn unit of this at all. It's um, crushed old fire brick uh, mixed with wood ash and um, cow poop. And uh, we use clay soil, the clay soil that was dug up on this land as a binder. So this part where the firebox is can be made on a mountaintop in Guatemala for no money whatsoever. Um, anywhere in the world where you have a little cow crap or um, horse crap and wood ash, you're good to go with this. So that was sort of the intent of this firebox. Um, so that has a heat riser because what makes a rocket stove is that it has an internal insulated chimney to the fire. It's a, to, the, to the combustion unit, right? And that's called a heat riser. So this has a heat riser inside of it and the heat riser ends about here inside a big open box. And the big open box is the heat distribution thing. It's the bell or... Uh, Stratification chamber is what they're calling it over at Permies, I think. Uh, so what a stratification chamber does is when the heat gets into this, it's just a big open chamber. So the hottest stuff goes to the top and kind of hangs out there and loses its heat to the masonry until it's cool enough to drop down and find the chimney exit over here. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.